Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. I hope everyone had a nice Thanksgiving. Um, mine was pretty, pretty, you know, or whatever. <laughs> it, it was a holiday. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I've talked about how I feel about holidays, but anyway, it was a holiday. Lots and lots of food, family time. That's all nice. No one actually talked about the whole purpose of Thanksgiving. Uh, anyway, let me, let me not get into that right now. Um, so I decided the day before Thanksgiving to pull up this graph, which is the first link that I'm going to post here. And the graph is from the International Energy Agency, and it shows... Um, it shows uh, what's what's the word for this world world energy outlook, and it shows the amount of crude oil currently exist as existing, and then there's a there's amount of natural gas, conventional non conventional oil, crude oil. Then there's these two interesting categories of crude oil fields yet to be found, and and then there's another one crude oil fields yet to be developed. And then there's currently producing fields. Well, the currently producing fields mark, um, as of about 2005 or so, drops off a cliff and then just begins this extreme, extreme descent downwards. Well, let me see. Uh, it goes like this. It goes bumpy to 2006, and then it does like this. <laughs> like this. So, na namely, that, what that means is the world is running out of oil. In case you didn't know this already, the world is running out of oil and running out of oil at, at an increasingly faster rate as a result of, of uh, declining oil resources. And since the IEA cannot just come right out and say that, they put a huge gap where it says reserves yet to be found. Okay, Reserves yet to be found means reserves that don't exist, basically. So, um, so I showed everyone in my family this graph yesterday because, you know, me, I talk about serious stuff. And everyone kind of gave me the usual, um, what I call American, American paranoia, uh, American brainwashing, which is to say, everyone just goes, oh, well, you know, someone will come up with a solution. There's new technologies being invented all the time to solve these problems. You know, like they're putting all kinds of money. Going green is really big now anyway. So, I mean, like, as soon as the oil starts to run out, they'll just, they'll just start doing that. You know, they'll just put more, they'll just put more ethanol in. So I went back and forth with my parents and my brother on, on all of this. Cause, and then they all kind of got to a point where they acknowledged that we all may have to scale back our, our current way of life. But I don't think anybody really, really realizes that we have to honestly scale back. Like, it's not simply talking about scaling back and then, you know, buying a Prius because it's energy efficient or, or something like that. Like, like, if you look at this graph, this graph really scared the, the crap out of me yesterday. Um... Um, looking at this graph, so I did the numbers today, and I'm, this is what the rest of this this video is about. But in twenty, in twenty twenty, ten years from now, we will be producing as much oil as we were producing back in. Well, well I'll put it this way: this is how I figured it out. And by twenty twenty, we will have lost forty million barrels a day of oil. We have gone from the, the current high of roughly 60, well, let's, let's say 70, down to about 40. So that's really 35, okay? By 20, 10 years, we, we, we will have lost 35 million barrels of oil in 10 years, okay? So I was wondering what would life be like, uh, what would that be like uh, to go back to that level of, of oil? And so I know for a fact that GDP growth rates are directly related to oil producing rates. The more oil there is, the more G GDP goes up. The less oil there is, GDP goes down. So then, if you all would like to look at the second thing I put up here on the, on the links below, uh, G world GDP growth rates um, for, for um, the current, current GDP is um, something like 80, it's 70, 70, correction, it's 60, 60 trillion dollars a year. The whole world makes about 60 trillion dollars a year. This, this chart only goes to, goes to 2007, but the, I think the, 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 the numbers today are for 2010 are about 60 trillion dollars. So, um, to go back to a time 
when to lose to lose 40 million barrels of oil would basically put us back at at like well, let's see let me see if I can tell you I think I'm missing a chart here I am missing a chart I had a chart here that had uh, oil oil output let me see here oil output. well you gotta love uh, you gotta love Google <laughs> World oil. Okay, here we go. So th I'll make this the this will be the third chart here. Uh, world oil output. And this graph is not, I'm sure, not perfect. But um, to lose 35 million barrels a day would put us back somewhere around 1970, 1970 or so. So the world economy back in 1970 was about was about let's say oh wait they'll, they'll tell me on this chart here 1970 was about three trillion dollars three trillion dollars okay the world makes 60 trillion dollars right now and we're going back to a time when the when the only oil we have is enough to run a three trillion dollar economy okay like I, I, I hope I don't know if this is really sinking in to anybody watching this. Maybe, maybe you're doing this and, and not really paying attention or something. I don't know, but, 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 and usually about 200 people watch these videos. So if you're one of those 200 people. Just have a moment to, to really like let that sink in. What that means. We only have enough oil. In the next 10 years, we are only going to have enough oil to run a three trillion dollar economy. We currently have the world has a 60 trillion dollar economy. That means in the next 10 years, the world economy could very well get cut in half, get cut in half again. And 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 what what another 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 time at that. Yeah, yeah. Before it gets to 3 trillion. <laughs> so so what that really means for our way of life is, I mean, honestly, I think we, we may be going back to like raising horses and, and getting around on bicycles only. And, and, and uh, the price of gas could very well like, you know, be five, at least $5 very soon as a result of this. And I suppose that there's alternatives, there's solar and wind and things that will take up some of this slack. But I've been to these green conferences. I mean, I study this stuff. And every person will tell you that alternative energies will only account for a fraction of our total energy usage. Um, um, some people say like 15% tops, all the solar, wind, geothermal, you know, you know, waterfall, whatever you want to call it, all that stuff can only account for 15% of our world in energy usage. So that may help, you know, particularly in terms of this decline in, in, in current oil production, but considering that to even get those other, uh, energies to work, they require oil. I mean, to, to make ethanol, to make, to make a wind farm. The, the parts the parts needed to make solar all require oil which means all these things are just going to become more expensive in the end so i just think it really you know everybody's in happy thanksgiving land and not really focus on reality even though right now hello like uh, uh the united states i don't know what it, i don't know if you guys saw this i i saw this on youtube but apparently this the united states that's provoking this attack with south korea because they want a confrontation um so everyone's in la la land right now but, but, you know, I think we all need to kind of wake up because this is all going to get really ugly really very quickly. And, you know, I'm terrified. <laughs> I've been terrified for a while, though. And I'm doing the best I can to, like, to figure out how to mitigate these problems. But I think all of us seriously need to be, like, talking about this stuff. Because when, when the price of gas goes up to 5 bucks and then it goes up to 10 bucks, it's, it's really going to be a, a shock for the majority of people. And I think some really, really crazy, crazy crap is going to happen in this country considering the level of education that exists here and brainwashing. So anyway, take a look at those charts and, and see what you come up with and what you think about.